I've already shuffled and will be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Sagittarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the Three of Wands. And it's with the Hierophant. Now, the Three of Wands can be about trying to make... Well, let me rephrase this. I was going to say something. The Three of Wands, it's actually about making a decision and going forward. Now, it's with the Hierophant here, so what this is telling me is that um, you were dealing with someone that you felt was honest, sincere, loyal. They had a lot of integrity. This person could have been um, very moral, ethical, and traditional. That's what you get with the Hierophant. And you made a decision to go forward with this person. Yeah, the Three of Wands is about making a decision, going forward, looking ahead with growth and expansion. So, this was a good thing. Yeah, you could have realized that you would get some teamwork and expansion with this person. Because they've proven to you that they're not all about game playing. So that's good. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up. Now we got the Ace of Pentacles. And it's with the Three of Cups. Now the Ace of Pentacles, you could find yourself enjoying new beginnings on several levels. And these would be very positive new beginnings. So you could start to feel really optimistic coming up, really upbeat and hopeful about the future. So things should be going really well for you when you get this card in a reading. The Ace of Pentacles is very powerful. Now, it's, it's with this Three of Cups, the card below the word present. So... For some of you Sagittarius, you could have someone that that wants to make a return into your life. Someone that you used to be with. Because the Three of Cups can signify a reunion with a long lost love. It can signify some type of happy come together. And you might still have emotions for this person. Because the Ace of Pentacles is here. They've got emotions for you. Someone could be reaching out to you that you used to know. Wanting a new first start with you. And since it's showing up in your reading, I'm getting that you might be thinking about entertaining this. For some of you, not all of you. Yeah. Now... We move on over and take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the King of Wands, and it's with the Ten of Swords. Now, the King of Wands, it can indicate um, someone who is um, very protective of you and someone who cares about you. It's a very caring and supportive protective type of energy, this King of Wands. Yeah. But it's with the Ten of Swords. So, what this is telling me is that this person that might be trying to uh, disrupt or interfere in your relationship with this Hierophant um, is that they could be trying to um, let you know that they care about you. Or they do. You're this person coming back, they could have a lot of caring and protective feelings for you. But for some reason, you don't trust it. Yeah, 
With the Ten of Swords, the card that's below the word challenge. Yeah, you just feel like it would be a, a disaster or it would just end up in ruin. It, it would just end up as a failure. It would just be, you would probably feel like you're defeated dealing with this again. Because you probably, like a lot of people, realize that exes are exes for a reason. But yeah, this person that's coming back, they do still have emotions for you. King of Wands is a very good energy. Yeah, they could be really wanting the connection to work this time. But you just feel like it's going to lead to some type of painful ending. Yeah, and that's probably how it ended before. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got the Strength card, and it's with Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Strength card, when you get this one, it could be time to meditate, contemplate, spend some time alone, even if you're in a relationship and you've got a lot of kids. The Strength card is can be about being empowered or needing to feel empowered, or just being um, the best you you can be, or just wanting the best for yourself. Yeah. Now it's with the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, that's you down there, the card below the word outcome. You're ready for a connection that's really going to work this time. Yeah. So it looks like you're being more focused or you're walking back towards this Hierophant. Yeah, this Hierophant, maybe maybe he, this person doesn't look like your usual pick. Or maybe they're not your, your type. But you know that this person is a true blue. Yeah, so it looks like you're going back that way and you're leaving this past person behind even though that there there's still emotions there but you're making smarter choices these days yeah and you're realizing that you need a connection that's mutually supportive and strong like the strength card someone that could actually uplift and empower you you get that with the strength card. And, yeah, that's what you're going to um, go towards. That's what it's showing. You got your bags all packed there. The Seven of Pentacles, the cards, the card that's below the word outcome. Your bag is all packed. Yeah. You got on board, and you're getting back on board. If you got, if you turned around to go revisit this past person, you're getting back on board, and you, you're taking the Hierophant. You know, you just don't trust that this past person would lead you to to a better life. You don't think so, no. So that is the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass, so we'll all get through this, so stay strong and take good care. Come back and join me for the next Sagittarius reading, just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed, meaning you could be your person or your person could be you. 
And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other people or persons could be a friend, could be a family member, a co-worker, or it could be a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Sagittarius, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.